Hi there, so I had a bit of time to think about this. There's differences between Staffpad and Symphony Pro. And uh, let's go through them, uh, some of them very quickly, very briefly, because I don't want to make this long. So let's make it quick. And I'm not going to go through it thoroughly. I'm just going to go through it quickly and maybe improvise manner. So the first thing I would say is here's Symphony Pro and the many bars. The many bars is more clunky. You've got the notes here, which you don't need once you have a pencil. Um, you don't need it. Um, you don't need the notes, you can write the notes values in here automatically. So that's the first thing. I would say if you go to staff pad, it's cleaner, there's one bar, all the menus are up here, and um, you, you don't need to write, you don't need the note values, you've already got them, you've already got them um, in your mind basically. So that's the first thing, cleanliness. Okay, so the second thing I'd say is that um, ease of use. And I know that Symphony Pro does recognize um, your handwriting a lot better. So it, it does get it a lot more accurately. Uh, here's a problem, um, the zoom, it, it lags. There's like a joltingness to it, it's confusing and it takes your mind off scoring and it gets kind of lost, um, jolted. The other thing is you have to keep pressing the handwriting button. If I leave the app and come back in, handwriting is disabled. That shouldn't be the case, but it is. Go here on staff pad, zoom in, zoom out. Beautifully smooth. I like the paper look, um, but just how smooth that is. You don't need to go that far in. Why would you need to go any further than that? Maybe for an iPad mini, but then it's not really made for iPad minis. Um, and the other thing is that um, this, the stylus automatically works. Let's do another quick example here. Um, if you're on some music you've written and you want to delete it, let's say, or, or scrub it out on, stu on um, stuff, stuff pad, all you do is you press harder and then you can erase, undo, three finger swipe. If I go to Symphony Pro, uh, the transition between writing with this small movements of writing, I have to press the handwriting again, which is frustrating for me. The, the difference between writing, say, and removing, you can't do that. You have to, well, you can actually, but um, you have to do that. That's the normal thing you do. You have to circle it. So there's a, diff there's a transition between the fluidity of writing and removing. Um, I would say that Symphony Pro wins big on recognizing. So if I do big, a big B here, it will recognize it. If I do a huge B, it will recognize it. Staff pad, if I do a huge B, it won't recognize it. It needs to be small, it needs to be how they want it. And actually it's made my writing more tidy and I wouldn't say I'm complaining about that now. Let's do some other things uh, like the overall experience of using the app, um, the bugginess. Um, I would say Starpad is cleaner, more focused on the writing, and uh, it doesn't crash so much. It does crash though, I can't give it full marks on that. Um, let's go back here to um, Symphony Pro, and it's, uh, it's, it's definitely it's not clean, that's for sure, and it's not focused, I'd say, on the writing. I think it is a bit it's focused on itself, and uh, maybe that's not fair. Maybe I'm not being fair there, but uh, I give it um, 3 out of 10 on cleanliness and, uh, and just none, nothing in the way. There's things like if you want to play music on here, and I don't know if this is kind of lingering too much, but if you want to play this bar, say, I think... You have to go sort of navigate by bar. Whereas in staff pad, and if I'm wrong, please let me know. You just double tap the bar. So the next thing I would say, staff pad um, is more expensive obviously, but the audio playback and the samples you can buy, it's just amazingly good really. And almost the, the interpretation of the computer is just really good. So if I double tap here, you can hear this piano. There's no pedal there, that's why it sounds kind of dry. Let's put a pedal in there. 
all the pedal markings and all that you do it by going to here and then you type it type it in you touch it in and then you can do your pedal oops it's in the wrong stave down here on the wrong hand all right so let's do that let's go back there Okay, so let's let's send this, which is here. Send. Um, let's send music XML, and let's send it to. Oops, wrong wrong app. Send it to Symphony Pro. And listen to it here. Open. Okay. Let's listen to the piano on here. And the one thing I do like about this, why well, I used to like about this, is that you can have different layouts. You can have a page layout for a piano composition feels more natural. But honestly, stuff pad haven't removed that from me. At first I complained a lot in my head, but now I've totally gone over it. And I'm appreciating the fact that they got rid of options because options obviously de um, can defeat my productivity too much. So let's press play here, see what it sounds like. Just, just, I was gonna say terrible, but that's not fair. Maybe I had to press handwriting again, but it's just not there um, with uh, it's not there with Starpad, no way near. Um, if you like this view, maybe this is the selling point, but I would say right now, today, which is uh, August 6th, um, uh, 2021, I would say Starpad is worth a hundred dollars, which is what it costs um, me to buy, and the samples are worth the money. Um, the strings are just amazing. If you're still with me, um, congratulations, pat on the back. Uh, let's go and have a look at some some other things here. Let's go and look at strings. Uh, and I have something I've been playing around with for strings. Is this it? No, bear with me one second. I got it in, uh, I've just been playing around with this. Oh, here you go. Listen to the strings here. On the, this is paid for, Berlin sample strings. Um, Wow. That's just gorgeous. I mean, I could listen to that all day and never get tired of writing with it. And it's and it's it's my own work. You know, it's my own my own composition that's not finished like every other composition. I'm starting to get finished now, which is quite satisfying. But anyway, so here we go. Let's press play on here and see what, um, that was Berlin, maybe that's not fair. We'll go back again a stack and listen to stock and here you go. Tempo is obviously wrong there. Let's change that. Let's go down 50 maybe. We go to the store here. You won't find on the store, I don't think, any samples. So if you go, maybe if you go here, plus, um, they used to have a store. Um, I don't think there is a store anymore. No, so that's it. But then, let's not do it. Yeah, we already have a violin. So anyway. Um, okay, so if we go back to staff pad, and let's change out the instruments because that's not fair because those instruments are gorgeous. And let's go strings, violins, swap and the violas, swap the cellos. Let's go back again. This is the inbuilt stock sounds.
not the same obviously but much better than um, much better than Symphony Pro let's change the sounds around Um, the sounds different, it's just incredibly different um, staff pad than Symphony Pro. Uh, smoother, um, e harder to write. I'd say, let me just say this before you leave and run and buy it and get angry with me. Staff pad is really hard to write on when you start. You have to tidy up your writing a lot. It doesn't do broad strokes, it doesn't do uh, your letters, have to be exactly how they want it. There's a lot of learning to get what they want, and they have improved it, but. If you're in it for the long run and you want to keep composing and you love hearing good sound, which for musicians is key, um, staff pad it's like just so good that I want to use superlatives, but I'm English and I'm struggling here. But um, Symphony Pro, they were the first of the game, and I loved the fact they got there, and I was so excited about it. But I think staff pads are just leaps and bounds ahead just in terms of purity, clarity. I love the vision of it. I love the audio is coming soon. Um, I can just can't recommend it enough. Um, lyrics is another thing I didn't go into in these videos, but lyric writing on Starpad versus Symphony Pro, just Starpad just wins, blows out of the water. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry, it's very long. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you soon.